Hey there, YouTube land. Today we're looking at two K bars. And this one is a Barlow. Not sure where it was made specifically. Um, I asked the seller, they said, oh, K bar made it. But I get, you know, who makes K bars knives? I don't, I don't know. I didn't go look. I was satisfied with the answer that K bar made it. Although, that's a very simplistic view of how Tang stamps actually function. Because um, anybody can make this in stamp K-Bar. This has a little bit of rub. I'll show you. No half stop, obviously. The rub is right there. You can see it. And... Um, Decent construction, honestly. Pretty happy with this one. Didn't pay an arm and a leg for it. Didn't really have to clean it up that much either. This guy is a little torpedo jack. Also made in the US of A, like this one. Um, a K-Bar 1026. You can see it's got half stops. It's got, uh, I didn't have to clean much of it up, but it does have a little bit of peppering on the blades. This one has not the issue of, of the other. It's jigged well. I like the way that this color transitions well. It's something I think is lacking a lot of time on like modern. Um, this seems to be Delrin to me, but this could be, maybe it is bone. In any event, the uh, die job is good. And um, this knife is not big. But yeah, these two blasts from the past. This one is really great as an example. Probably going to squirrel it away and then carry this one a little bit. Because um, it has some strange stuff going on as far as like this bolster on this side. You can't see it so much on film, but comes down further than this side. I don't know why. That's all I'll up for this one. Have a good rest of your day.